Hello again. Uh, I thought maybe today we could go on a little tour of the farm here. I'm standing in front of the house um, and from this position I will take you on a little tour just around the barns and um, out to the pasture. Hope you enjoy it. So here we are. Uh, this is our bank barn. You look straight out the walkway to our bank barn. Down below is where we keep our chickens. Um, there's one of our gravity wagons, grain wagons. And over here is what used to be an old corn crib. We're not using that right now. Uh, when we purchased the farm, the um, farm was not a working farm. So they had lots of greenhouses up. They had a, um, a plant, uh, play, the plant place and they used the greenhouses, but we are using that for storing equipment. You can see there's some, um, some bales, uh, high moisture bales wrapped up there for feeding the cattle. Here's Eric's truck all ready to go. Uh, we have it loaded up with our tobacco bales. Some good pictures of those. All ready to be taken out here. One, two, three, four. Looks like about eight bales. Now you can see the bank barn from this side. He's getting ready to take a uh, wagon out. Um, and some of our corn fodder bales that we'll use to bed the animals down with. Here's the shop. And right beside the shop is where we store a lot of our equipment. There's our 8320 with duels. And walk in here. A 4250, that's one of Eric's favorite tractors. Use that for a lot of things. And then we have a pull type chopper and planter in here. So I'm just walking through here. We're back to the bank barn. And around here is Eric's shop where he does uh, work on all of his equipment. So there's the shop. He made a nice little workbench there. Come back around here. <clears throat> he also built the uh, um, fuel station up there. There's our combine. And some more high moisture bales that we use to feed the cattle. Here is our cattle barn. This just went up and uh, was finished this year. If you look down below, there is a uh, video of that going up. Um, kind of explains everything that happened. Here's our cows walking here. He has the radio running. It kind of um, helps decrease uh, their spookiness. They don't always run away then. Hello, 23. So here's where we were given the shots the last time. Um, and one thing that I didn't mention in that video, we have Tizzy in here. She's a Holstein. She kind of babysits the Black Angus, uh, keeps them calmer um, and kind of calms them down when they come in. We do have five other Black Angus over here, or not Black Angus, five other Holsteins that we're keeping for another farmer until they're ready to breed and, and milk. I don't know if you can see back in there. Crash is back there. He's one of our babies. And then down here are the Black Angus that are going to be ready to be bred here shortly. So, this is the barn, the beef barn. And we can walk up here, walk out here. And go up to the pasture and see the babies. Yep. All right. Walk up to the pasture here. There's another well that we just put in. Okay. One's walking.
here's our pasture and we actually fenced this in this used to be across the street um, but we took the posts and um, fenced this in crawl on your hands and knees you can do it so we have a water here there you can see one of the cows all right so here are all the cows Yep. some of these are still um, going to have calves here she's one that's still pregnant hi are you getting a drink there's some over there I wanted to come over here and show you this Eric just put this up today um, <clears throat> for the calves that have been born they are a month old today and so he put up a little I guess safe haven you could call it that they can go in and get away and he can also put some feed in here so they can get the feed and eat it as we start to wean them from their moms so you can see there's four of them in there hi movers and he has some grain in there for them that they can eat. All the other ones eat out of the back of one of our old trucks. This has been converted into our farm truck. I used to drive it around to work, but we've since made it a farm truck and we will um, fill that up with feed and the cows can just come out and eat when the grass is getting low. This is actually, I believe, rylage in there. Rylage or oats? Rye or oats, I'm not sure which one. Eric tells me and I keep forgetting. Kids like to come out and watch the, the cows. I'm gonna see if I can climb in here. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm doing it. I'm just gonna climb over. Mommy. No, mommy. Yep. See if we can get some good pictures of these, the babies. Hey, girl. Hello. thinking mommy wants to get some pictures of your babies yeah 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 Come on. there you go you can see we have salt and mineral blocks out here for the cows and this is made that the babies can get in and out, the calves can get in and out without having to open and close it. Hey guys! Hello! So these are some of our baby calves. Like I said, they're only about a month old. Crash is actually the oldest and he's in the, in the barn just because his mommy was in an accident and so that's why she's not out in the pasture so keeping an eye on me making sure I don't do anything so this is a pasture and from here down across you can see the tobacco barn over there I'm gonna pause it for a second while I get out of here Okay, so I'm out of the pasture here and walking back down uh, the other uh, driveway into our house. Um, right now we have a temporary fence up from the pasture that we can get the cows back into the barn if we need to. Like I said, this is just a temporary fence. Eventually we're hoping to get a permanent one up. Just costs money and right now with buying the farm and putting the steer barn up we don't really have the money to put it in right now so we'll come down here Eric has it set up that he can push the manure 
out of the sear barn and use a loading dock here. He'll back the tractor up right in here and he can just load it right on the manure spreader with the uh, skid loader. Come down past the tobacco barn. And we're back out to the road here. You can see across the road are the two ag bags that we use to our silage bags. We fill up um, with our chopped corn. We'll chop corn and fill those up and that's what we use to feed the, the steers and heifers. here a little bit and you come straight around and there's our house again. Like I said this is a tobacco bar and we're hoping to move this back off the road eventually. Um, and this little building right here that's off of the bank barn uh, right now we use to fill tobacco um, and uh, before we had uh, some goats in there we had some pigs in there use it to uh, store store animals as well and down underneath the bank barn like I said the first set of double doors there is used for um, our chickens and then we have um, the stripping room in the second set and the third, third set is just storage so I hope you enjoyed this video. Right, so that was a tour of our farm, just a little tour. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, hopefully as we go here you'll be able to see more of it. Um, Mommy. But I thought I'd just show you around a little bit and show you what we're dealing with. Uh, so hope you enjoyed it and please comment, rate, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you get uh, notifications when I put new videos up and I know what you guys would like to see more of. and. Um, Yep, so I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.